if you're building a web design agency, you will hear a lot of objections, especially when you just start out because you're doing a lot of cold outreach. And if you don't know how to navigate them, you will not succeed. Whether it's on the cold call or on the sales call, you're gonna get a lot of objections. It's completely inevitable. I personally struggled a lot with objections when I just started out because it feels weird to try to prove someone otherwise. So the mentality you should have when you're doing cold outreach and you're getting objections is that you only want to get to the objections. That's your goal. I wanna to get to the no so that I can get to the objections. That way, if you get a yes before that, then you still win. And if you get to the objection and you get to a no, then you're like, okay, perfect. Now I can go ahead and practice my objections. But the good news, they're very predictable. And in this video, I've narrowed down the six most common objections you're gonna get so you can close the sale and not get stuck. I haven't seen any other web design YouTuber do this. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with three cold call objections first, and then we're gonna go with three sales call objections. Let's get it. Objection number one is I'm not interested. What they truly mean is I don't see the value yet because if they knew that the website would make them more money, who's going to refuse some more money right into their pocket, right? Now, it depends at what point in the conversation they say this. If you've done a lot of cold calls, probably a couple times you called and then you say, hey, how's it going? And they're like, oh, how can I help you? Or I'm not interested right away. That's because of your tonality. If they tell you they're not interested before you've said anything, just ask them, not interested in what? It's gonna make them feel a little bit stupid and then you can go ahead and continue the conversation. Now, if you're using my cold calling script and you're telling them that you already built them the website and you just wanna show it to them and they're telling you that they're not interested, what you wanna do is say, hey, I totally hear you and most of my clients say the exact same thing before I even show them the website. So like I said, it's already built. I just wanna show it to you. If you like it, fantastic, we'll go ahead and publish it. And if you don't, I'll go get crops. I just want to show it to you in a five to 10 minute call. I actually got this exact objection in my last cold calling video. So I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen right here. Make sure you go check it out and follow my exact script. The reason why I'm able to book so many meetings is because I tell the clients that I already built their website. Now, objection number two is going to be, I already have a website. What they mean is I don't think you can do anything better than my current website. If they already have a website, then you should have known that before you even called them. And then you would have used a script similar to this. Hey, I just found you guys on Google and noticed you had phenomenal reviews. And then I clicked on your website and I noticed it could use improvement. So I went ahead and built you a new one if you just have five to 10 minutes for, for me to show it to you. A lot of business owners made their website themselves and you have some type of attachment to it because they think it looks good. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. So what you wanna do is don't try to be pushy. Just let them know that it's already built and they have nothing to lose by seeing it. And on the next call, you just wanna let them know why your website is better than theirs and why it's more high converting and why it can bring them more clients, make them more revenue, at the end, help their business in the long run. In cold calling, you don't try to convince the client. Your close on the cold call is just booking the second meeting. And once you book the second meeting, then it's collecting payment. On the cold call, you should be worried about nothing other than booking the second meeting. That's your only goal. Now, objection number three is gonna be how much does it cost before you even built any value? Look something like this. Hey, is this XYZ landscaping? Yes. Hey, I saw your website. I thought it could use improvement. I went ahead and built you a new one. How much does it cost? To be honest with you, if it goes like this, it doesn't matter what you're gonna say in terms of pricing because you're either gonna say something too cheap and they're not gonna take you seriously or you're gonna say something too expensive and they're gonna be like, you're too expensive. The people who just want the price right away are only saying this because they want to give you a price objection later on. Trust me, from my experience, it never works. What you want to do instead is you kind of want to dodge the question, but not directly. You want to tell them something like this. Well, to be honest, Mr. Bob, my website's costs start from $500 up to $5,000. So I don't know exactly what you want. I already built your website. So once we hop on the call and I show you uh, the website and you tell me what you want to remove or you want to add, then I can give you an exact price over there. But you never want to tell them the price right away. And that's also going to reduce the amount of people that are completely broke that are going to hop on calls with you because he's expecting to pay minimum $500. Basically, don't tell them the price right away. Like I said, your goal in the cold call is to simply just book the meeting. Now we're going to be going into the sales objection. Now sales objection number one is going to be, I have someone else who can do it for cheaper. This sounds scary when you just start, especially if you don't know how to price your services. The first thing I wanna say is that you should only give them the price after you've built the value because regardless of how much your website costs, 
the price is going to sound unreasonable if you haven't built the value yet. If they say something like, I love what I'm seeing, but I have someone else who can do it for cheaper, then just ask him, well, does that mean that if I was the same price as my competitors, you would go with me? If they say no, it either means you haven't built enough value or your offer is not proportionate to your pricing. But if they say yes, tell him, well, Mr. Bob, the exact reason why you would undoubtedly go with me if I was the same price as my competitors is the exact same reason why we cannot be the same price. I'm very confident in my work and this is just my fixed pricing. Or I'm very confident in the quality of my work. I'm sure you understand. That's a little more passive. Now, sales objection number two, I need to think about it. This one is super scary and you're gonna hear this one in all the industries. And if you study sales, trust me, it's the most, it's like one of the first ones you learn. Now, I do wanna let you know that I don't believe and I don't support pushy salespeople. I'm not a pushy salesperson myself. And even though I've tried, when I've tried a lot of different types of sales, it's just not me and it just doesn't work for me. So everything I'm showing you right now is what I know from my own experience works. I'm never gonna show you something that I learned from a video. I only show you guys things that I've done with my own experience. So before I get to handling this objection, I read this book called Spin Selling and they talked about the best salespeople are not always trying to close on the first call. What they're trying to do instead is if they feel like they can't close on the first call, they wanna get an advance, which means moving the sales forward. Especially if you're talking to business owners, they're not gonna do an emotional purchase or like something off a whim. You're not gonna close on the first call all of the time. It's completely normal, don't get stressed. Now, if they tell you, I need to think about it, then you just wanna say something simple like, sure, how long do you need to think about it? And then they're gonna say, I don't know, three days because they need to talk to their partner in two days. Then you wanna move the sale forward. You're gonna say, okay, perfect. Let's book a call three or four days from now. That way you can give me the final decision on the call. And when you hop on that second call, then if he gives you another objection, then you can handle it from there. But don't try to be too pushy because you're going to lose the client. I promise you, especially if you're selling to a business owner. Now, the third and last objection is we're too busy right now. We can't take any more clients. What they're essentially saying is I feel like this is going to be extra work for me and I don't want to deal with any of the website BS. The reason why they're giving this objection is not because they don't want more clients, because if they get more clients, they make money, right? The reason why someone starts a business to begin with is to make money. Even if they were capped out completely, which is probably not true because they answered your first call to begin with and they're answering clients, every business owner wants to make more money. So what you want to say is you want to reframe this to something that sounds like a burden to something that's actually going to help them. Say something like this. That makes total sense. And most of my clients are busy business owners just like you. Not only is the onboarding process super fast and simple, but the website will also help you automate certain tasks so you can focus on building the business just like you usually do. And then if they ask you, what do you mean is gonna help me automate? It's just a website. Let's say for example, while well, you answered my call, right? You have to do it manually. I could put a contact form on the website. So any form submission is gonna go straight into your email and you can on your own time, choose whenever you call to clients or you can send them over an email so you save time. It's gotta automate this whole process. Now, that's pretty much all the objections I have for you. There you go, three cold call objections, three sales calls objections. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see a live sales call of me closing $1,500 live on YouTube, me reviewing it, then let me know in the comments. And as always, try to provide you guys as much value as possible. The best thing you can do to help me is follow my Instagram, like the video, subscribe, share it to your friends. And as always, I'll see you guys later.